We are traveling to the closest system with a potentially habitable planet. It's called Proxima Centauri and it lies only four light years from us in the constellation Centaurus. It is a very small red dwarf with a radius of around 60,000 miles, which is around 14% the size of our Sun. It's 5 billion years old. An exoplanet called Proxima Centauri b orbits this star in the habitable zone where temperatures are suitable for liquid water to exist. The exoplanet receives an amount of energy from its central star that is about two-thirds of that received by the Earth from the Sun. It orbits its star at a distance of 75 million kilometers with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 Earth days. The planet has an estimated mass of at least 1.3 times that of the Earth. Scientists are pretty confident that the planet is rocky just like Earth. But researchers don't know for sure if the planet has an atmosphere or whether that atmosphere could allow for liquid water to exist on Proxima B's surface. The temperature of the surface is unknown because it depends heavily on atmospheric characteristics. However, because its parent star is much smaller than the Sun, the habitable zone is 25 times closer than the one surrounding our Sun. Planets that are close in tend to become tidally locked, always keeping the same phase toward their star. Scientists once thought tidal locking wasn't a good sign for habitability. That's because the star facing side would be too hot for life while the dark side would be too cold. But new modeling work suggests that heat could be distributed more evenly via winds making tidally locked worlds potentially habitable. Using computer simulations, scientists have found that Proxima b has the potential for massive quantities of liquid water. And the more liquid water there is, the greater the chance for something alive to be lurking in it. But because the planet is tidally locked, scientists conducting a study suggested that radiation would burn up the star facing side while there could be a frozen ocean on the night side. Some scientists believe that an ocean circles the entire equatorial region. An ocean whose waters circulate and transfer heat throughout. Kind of like the Gulf Stream currents cool off the west coast. 